Alrighty. To start off, Mouse Escape is it's made of a bunch of forms, as you can see right over here. It's a bunch of different forms that I made the game with. Oh, I got all the levels, the uh, start page, the level select page, uh, the credits. And this page right here, the data. This is just to hold hold the uh, you know how long it took you to complete the level, whether you've completed it, whether it's the first time you've been through the level. Uh, we'll come back to that a good amount going through the uh, different levels. Alright, but yeah, the, it's just a bunch of different forms. Um, let's look at some of the code in the, the start page. Start page and level select are uh, probably the biggest of the forms in terms of lines of code. All, all that right there. Alright, uh, we got these, these right here aren't buttons, obviously, they're just labels that I put the, um, the fixed 3D, where is it, border style, or no, fixed single to get the line around it, and just took auto size off, made it false, so I could make my own size, and then I just, uh, the text inside of it, best looking text in the world. I don't even know how you say it. Papyrus, papyrus, something like that. But that's what the text is. Uh, so yeah, and whenever you go over them, there's a. Uh, whenever you mouse over pretty much any button in the game, does this. It moves it up when you enter it, and down when you leave it. So, let me just bring the game up, and uh, I'll show you that real quick might want to put in headphones so the volume isn't killing you. Alright, give me one second. But yeah, you can see whenever I mouse over one of the labels, buttons if you want to call it, they move up. Yeah, that's what all that all that this does over here. You know, the instructions label is this one right here whenever you mouse enter is that that's what that says instruction label dot top minus equal five because the top right or the top left corner of the form is zero zero so in order to move up you'd have to subtract from the top since it's like zero all the way down to the bottom of the form uh, with whatever the width and the height of the form is um... let me stick these headphones in real quick Untangle me some headphones. That way I can hear the music, but you guys can't, cause I'm just like that. But yeah, move over, and they do that. The instructions label, whenever you click it, that's just a thing saying if if you click it and it says instructions, make this uh, instructions pop up and close instructions is uh... what the text changes to then when you click it again it just changes it back uh... let me take a look at that real quick move that back over instruction label when you click it it just says if the text equals instructions bring the instructions label to the front because all it is is that's the uh, the image, but that's the instructions label. So it just brings it to the front and changes the instructions label button to close instructions. Then whenever you click it again, it'll uh, send the instruction label to the back and change the text back to instructions. So that's just how I did that. Uh, we'll go back to reset stats a little later in the game, or the tutorial. And level select, I guess we can move on to that next. Uh, whenever you click on one of these, and it's like that for, you know, one of the levels, whenever you click next level, all it is is you tell it to show the form that you want it to open, and then if you want to, you can close the form that it just, that you went from.
uh, and you have, if you're in, say I wanted to open up level 1 and close start page, while in start page code I would have to say level 1 dot show and me dot close. When you're referring to the form that you're in, you have to use me instead of the form name. See, I'm in start page right now. Oh, whoops. Tart. <laughs> if I were to say it like that, I would get an error. And it uh, says, cannot refer to itself, use me instead. That's, that's just what that means. So, um, use me when you're referring to yourself. Um, on to level select. Let's look at some of the code in there. Let me close out of that for now. Uh, all these are are labels covering up the picture boxes that hold the design for the level. So that's all those are. And uh, whenever you beat a level, it refers or it tells these boxes in here. That's what this column is. Is whether you beat it. That's what the boolean values are. Whenever you beat a level, the level that you just beat, this changes to true. And whenever this form loads, it looks at all the stuff on this data page, gets your time, and uh, if you beat it, it takes away the labels that are in front. So you can actually click on the level 1 and go to level 1 if you want. And it's got your best times right here what level it is. So it's pretty cool stuff. And the same thing with this button. Whenever you mouse over it, it moves up. It's just, uh, I don't even remember what I called it. Back label, I guess. Uh, when you mouse over it, if I can get to it, <laughs> dot top minus equal to 5 to move it up since the zeros start at the top. And plus 5 to move it back down whenever you leave it. Uh, the time, how I get it from, what what I save the time as is an integer. So if you had like a minute 26 seconds, it would be, or a minute, yeah, 26 seconds, it would be 86 in this. And then it would convert it uh, using this little function, I guess, right here. And it takes time up here top is the total seconds it took for you to beat the level, min is the minute, second is the second, and the middle is just the uh, colon zero or colon whatever is in the middle, like that little thing right there. <laughs> uh, let's go right down here and look at this. It takes seconds equals time mod 60. The 60 is for 60 seconds. And if you don't know what mod does, it's it takes a number, divides it by another number, and takes the remainder instead of, you know, just normally dividing it. So, like I was saying earlier, if you have an 86 seconds total, 86 mod 60 would give you back 26. So, that's what that means. And then minute is, uh... If it's in, since I have minute set in is an integer, it'll return an integer value instead of a double. So 86 would just bring back one, and then minute and second together would be one minute 26 seconds. And if the seconds is less than 10, put the uh, extra zero in there, or else it would come out like that instead of with the uh, zero. That is the level select page. Uh, let's move on to the actual levels themselves. We'll go back